Hallelujah. Okay. How many of you ready for the promise for this month? Amen. Okay. God wants to bless us this month of November uh, with, with his promise from Isaiah 49 verse 23. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23. Last part of this verse says, For they shall not be ashamed who wait for me. The last part of the verse, Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23. Amen. For they shall not be ashamed who wait for me. God gave this promise to the people of God through the prophet Isaiah. I want to give a title for this message. They shall not be ashamed who wait for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In our lives, many times we need to wait for certain things. Right? The waiting time is not a pleasant time. Okay. Uh, it will make us tired. It will make us frustrated. But God wants to encourage us. Those, those are waiting for the Lord or for Lord's timing or for Lord's miracle. God wants to give this promise. For they shall not be ashamed who wait for him. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are waiting for the Lord, if you are waiting for a miracle or if you are waiting for a breakthrough, God wants to encourage you this morning. You will not be ashamed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why God said like that? If you are waiting, you will not be ashamed. Why God said like that? If God says like that, there is something in that. Amen. If you are waiting for something, God said you will not be ashamed because during the time of waiting, God will do some good things in our life. That's why God tells us if you are waiting for me, you will not be ashamed. That means some, something is happening during the time of waiting. That's why God wants to encourage us. Your waiting time is not a wasted time. Amen. During the time of waiting, I am doing some good things in your life. Amen. That's why Bible says in Isaiah, Blessed are all those who wait for him. Amen. In, in Isaiah chapter of one second Isaiah 30 verse 18 Isaiah chapter 30 someone can read it please Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18 mm. Amen Blessed are all those who wait for him. That means the waiting time is a blessed time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Would you say that my waiting time is a my blessed time? My waiting time is my blessed time. Amen. Your waiting time will turn into a blessed time. Hallelujah. Amen. Why it's going to be a blessed time? Because God is doing some good things during your waiting time as I said earlier. Here, this morning, I want to share three good things which God is doing during the time of waiting. The first one is forming time. The first one, first one, I, I want to call this waiting time as forming time. During the time of waiting, God is creating something or God is forming something inside of us. If you read Psalm 40, Verse 1, Psalm chapter 40, verse 1. Here David said, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my prayer. David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. If you read Psalm 139, verse 13, Psalm 139, verse 13. For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. Uh, verse 15 in the same chapter, Psalm 139, verse 15. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret. Here David talks about his life and he tells that God has formed him in his mother's womb. David is talking about the life when he was in his mother's womb. He said that God formed me. 
God created me. God made something in the secret. The same way, like a baby, when a baby in a mother's womb, it has to wait 9 or 10 months before it comes to this world. During the time of waiting, the 9, month, nine or 10 months, something is happening, something is going on happening in his life. God is creating something in the, fe in the fetus, right? God is creating hands, God is creating, God is forming legs, eyes to the fetus and God is giving a beautiful features to the fetus to come out this world. Then only that baby can face the world in the normal way. Amen? That formation, the forming things will help the baby to face the next level of his life. When it was in the mother's womb, it's a different situation. When it comes to the world, it has to face the different world. Different light it has to face, different people it has to face, it has to walk, it has to see by its own, it has to eat by its own. Right? So God is creating something during the time of waiting in the mother's womb. Amen? The same way, when we wait for God, during the time of waiting, God is creating something in our life, inside of our life, to face the next situations in our life. God wants to take us, always God wants to take us to the next level in our life. Amen? Hallelujah. For that, God is using this waiting time to prepare something in our life. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? The baby, the, when the world which is outside, it cannot see what's going on inside the baby. The world cannot see. The scan can find something sometime, right? But many times it goes wrong. The doctors will wonder. We thought the baby will come like this. But it's a miracle. The baby is in the full shape. Hallelujah. The same way during your waiting time, the things are going on in your life. Nobody can see that. Nobody can understand. You cannot understand what's going on. But God is forming something in your life so that you can face the next level of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here Bible says in David's life, God has anointed him as a king. In, if you read 1 Samuel chapter 16, 1 Samuel chapter 16 verses 12 and 13. Samuel went to David's house and Samuel anointed David as a king. Mm. Amen. Thank you, sister. Bible says God has anointed him for the king of Israel. And also Bible tells that nearly around 15 years it took for him to, be a, to become a king. During the 15 years, during the time of the 50, waiting 15 years time, God is doing some creation or God is forming something in the life of David. Especially, Bible says, David was not a warrior. He was not a warrior. He was a shepherd boy. His brothers all in the army. But he was not. Because he was not a warrior. But if God wants to take him to the kingship, he has to become a warrior. During the time of waiting, God prepared him as a warrior. For that, God allowed lion one time. When he was in the wilderness, God allowed lion so that he can train his hands for the war. So he found the victory. Then God allowed the bear. Then he found the victory. Bible says, David, David mentioned in this, in, in the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 34 and 35. When I was in the wilderness, one time I found, uh, one time I faced the lion. 1 Samuel Chapter 17, verses 34 and 35. Would you please read 1 Samuel chapter 17, 34 and 35. Mm. 
ஒரு விசை ஒரு சிங்கமும் ஒரு விசை ஒரு கரடியும் வந்து மந்தையில் இருக்கிற ஒரு ஆட்டை பிடித்து கொண்டது நான் அதை தொடர்ந்து போய் அதை அடித்து அதை அதன் வாய்க்கு தப்பு வைத்தேன் and deliver the lamb from its mouth and when it arose against me i caught it by its beard and stuck it stuck and killed it david mentioned that i went out after it he alone faced the lion he alone faced the bear during your waiting time the challenges you are going through you have to face it alone amen amen nobody knows that what kind of lion you are facing nobody knows that what kind of bear you are facing but the good news is later on david said my lord help me to rescue my lord rescued me from the lion and the from the bear the same god will help me to rescue from the philistines, philistines. amen hallelujah the challenges you are facing during the waiting time no one will know the victory you are finding during the waiting time no one will know but the good news is during the time of waiting god is forming something in you and also the hand of god will be with you amen that is the good news in our during our waiting time even though we are alone even though we could not explain the challenges we are facing to others even though no one can see it but the good news is god is with you amen, amen. hallelujah Hallelujah he promised us I will never leave you not forsake you so he will be with us in the same way God was with David then God took him to the battlefield to face the Goliath before he faced Goliath he had to face the lion he had to face the bear so that God can make him as a warrior when he faced the Goliath he had to face goliath alone that's why god made him to face the lion alone that's why god made him to face the bear alone maybe you are thinking i am alone i am facing the challenges alone no one is there to stand with me but uh, god wants to encourage you this morning if you are feeling like that god is preparing you for a greater victory amen hallelujah if you face the lion alone now then then later on when you face the goliath alone the victory will come to you alone amen the credit will come to you alone the victory god gave to david no one could share it all the victory all the credit goes to david alone that's why the lady sang like that saul killed thousand david killed 10000 they gave 10000s to david no one can share your victory amen if you feel that you are alone during this time of waiting god wants to encourage you when the victory comes when the blessing comes you will enjoy the whole thing hallelujah god will lift you up amen amen so that's why you can tell my waiting time is my forming time amen would you open your mouth and say my waiting time is a my forming time god is training my hands amen would you tell that god is training my hands the bible says in psalm 18 verse 14 david said like that psalm 18 verse 14 would you please read that psalm 18 verse 14 one second uh, i think i gave a wrong verse psalm 18 uh, verse 34 vengala billum en puyangalal valaimbadi en kaigala yuddathirkku palathirukkar he is psalm 18 34 he teach my hands to make war, war. hallelujah amen hallelujah god wants to encourage you this morning i am teaching you something during your waiting time i am training you for something for a greater victory hallelujah when goliath uh, came to the battlefield david said to him you came with a sword but i came with the name of the lord hallelujah his waiting time taught him to completely lean on god hallelujah the wilderness 
experience will make you to lean on God completely. Hallelujah. Sometimes God, God will take you to the wilderness to wait for the next breakthrough. Amen. After Jesus took the baptism, he went to the wilderness. He was alone. He was alone. In the wilderness, he was tempted. But Bible says, when he came out of the wilderness, he came with the strength of the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God strengthened Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord strengthened Jesus during the time of waiting. 40 days he fasted. He did not eat anything. But Bible says after he came back from the wilderness, God performed many miracles through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The same way in your wilderness. <clears throat> Are you waiting in the wilderness? Are you waiting for the next level? God wants to encourage you. I am doing something new in your life. I am forming something in your life. Hallelujah. The second thing the waiting time is a strengthening time. The first one is forming time. The second one is the waiting time is a strengthening time. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah 40 verse 31. Here the Bible says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. The waiting time will become a strengthening time in your life. Bible says that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. If you are waiting for the Lord, you will renew the strength. Not only renewing the strength, you shall mount up with wings like eagles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 49 verse 23 and 24. Genesis chapter 49 verses 23 and 24. Genesis 49 verses 23 24. Here the Bible talks about the other man who waited for the Lord. His name was Joseph. Joseph waited for the Lord nearly 13 years to come out of the captivity, to come out of the prison, to come out of the, um, the wilderness path. God took 13 years to lift him up. <clears throat> but Bible says, during the time of waiting, God strengthened his arms. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him and catered him. But his bow remained in strength and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. Who strengthened his arms? God of Jacob. God of Jacob strengthened the arms of Joseph during his waiting time. He waited 13 long years. But all these years, Bible says, his bow remained in strength. How it can be? Because of the strength of God. Hallelujah. Bible talks about Joseph. He, Bible tells that he was a dreamer. God gave him dreams. In the dream, he saw that his brothers and father will bow him. That's the way he saw the dream. But in reality, the same brothers against Joseph. They tried to kill Joseph. They thought, if I kill the Joseph, I can kill his dreams also. Amen? But, Bible says, God is keep on strengthening Joseph. Bible says, the Lord was with Joseph. And he prospered. Hallelujah! God can strengthen us through many things. God can strengthen us by giving many things in our life. In Joseph's life, God strengthened him by giving some good things to him during the time of waiting. We all know that what kind of path Joseph went through. He, he had to go through the prison experience. In the prison experience, God gave him some good things. That one, one good thing is, he got the gift of interpretation for the dreams. If you, if you read uh, Genesis chapter 40, verse 8, the Bible tells that Joseph told the prisoners, Genesis chapter 40, verse 8, and they said to him, we each have had a dream and there is no interpreter of it. So Joseph said to them, do not interpretations belong to God, 
Tell them to me, please. Interpretation is belongs to God. Now, who is going to interpret the dream? Joseph is going to interpret the dream. That means he got the gift of interpretation from God. During the time of waiting, God is giving some good things to the people, those are waiting for him. Amen? Hallelujah. Before that, he did not have an interpretation gift. He saw the dream. His brothers told the interpretation to Joseph. When he shared his dream to the Joseph, um, Joseph's brothers, then the brothers are asking, do you, think, do you think that we all come and bow down to you? Joseph just gave a dream. He did not give the interpretation. His brothers interpreted the dream and they told Joseph like that. But when he was in the prison, he got the gift. When he was waiting, he got that gift from the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah! Interpretation gift. He saw the dream. Now he got the interpretation gift. Whatever God is putting in your heart, whatever the vision God gives in your heart, God will add things to support the vision. Amen? God gave a dream to Joseph. In that dream, he saw that he will be lifted up. But when, when he was in the prison, God is adding something to strengthen his vision. Hallelujah. During the time of waiting, you need to believe that God is not only forming, God is adding something in your life. Amen. So that the things which God is adding in your life, it will help you to fulfill all his visions and the dreams in your life. Amen. That's a good thing. Give strength to, David, to Joseph. God added the interpretation gift. Then he interpreted the dreams to the prisoner. One of the prisoner delivered from the prison. He went to the palace. Then again God gave a dream to Pharaoh. For a dreamer, everything is happening related to the dream. Amen. Dream interpretation. Dream interpretation. Amen. Hallelujah. During the waiting time, do not be discouraged. Whatever the vision God gives in your heart, whatever the promise God gives in your heart, God will work towards that dream, towards the vision. Hallelujah. Then Pharaoh saw the dream. Then Joseph went there to give the interpretation. Amen. That interpretation gift took him to the palace. Once he delivered the interpretation to the Pharaoh, then Pharaoh lifted him up as a prime minister of Egypt. Hallelujah. During your waiting time, God will give you strength. It's a time of strengthening. Amen. God kept on strengthening Joseph. Kept on strengthening Joseph. Joseph, I only gave a dream to you. I will strengthen your vision. I will strengthen your dreams. Hallelujah. Then finally, if you, if you see that God lifted him up. It took 13 years. But throughout the years, God strengthened Joseph. Amen. The same way, if God gives you some vision, if God gives you some dream, if God gives you some promise, during the time of waiting, he will strengthen you. Amen. He will strengthen your dreams. God wants to encourage you this morning. Whatever the, whatever the promise I gave in your life, it will come to pass. Amen. 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 Even though Joseph was in the prison, even though Joseph was in the pit, no one was there to stand with him. He was uh, alone. Alone. But Bible says the Lord was with Joseph. Joseph. Amen. Hallelujah. And he prospered. Would you confess that I will prosper? I will prosper. I will prosper. Amen. All my dreams will come to pass. Amen. This morning, do you have any dreams in your life? Yes, amen. amen. Yes, amen. Right? Hallelujah. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. The, the father of Joseph, Jacob, thought he was dying. He died. <coughs> the brothers thought that they shut the dreams of Joseph. Joseph. Amen. Maybe the shuttered doors, when Joseph was in the shuttered doors, when, the jo when Joseph was in the prison, maybe he thought, my all, all my dreams are shuttered up. 
Amen. But if God makes you to wait, nothing can shut your dreams. Amen. Amen. You will rise up like eagle. You will mount up like eagle. Amen. Because during your waiting time, the strength of God is keep coming on your life. Amen. God will keep on strengthening you. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? Amen. Would you tell that my strength, my waiting time is my strengthening time? I will receive more strength. I will mount up like eagle. Amen. The last one. Your waiting time is your exalting time. Amen. Psalm 37, 34. First one is forming time. Second one is strengthening time. The third one is exalting time. Psalm 37, 34. <clears throat> Here the Bible says, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. Amen. During the time of waiting, God will do something to inherit the blessings of the Lord. Amen. God will exalt us. God will lift us during the time of waiting. Again, I want to refer the life of David. As I said, David was anointed as the king of Israel. But it took around 15 years to become a king of Israel. But during the time of waiting, David never took a shortcut to become a king of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. He, he, he allowed the Lord to lead him. I mean, one time, when Saul was chasing David, he is running for his life. But one time came, he had to go through the Saul's camp. Then he saw Saul was sleeping. If you read with 1 Samuel chapter 26, verse 8 to 11, there was a spear next to Saul. There was a man with David. He said, Master, can we kill him right now? This is the right chance. We can kill him. We can finish his life. And you can become a king easily. Amen. Would you please read it? For, for, for Samuel chapter 26 verse 8 to 11. Mm. Ipodum Nan Avana Eti Hal Irenda Kuttaga Kuttamal Ore Kuttaka Nilati Urua Kuttatumaya Abishai said, Let me strike him at once with a spear right to the earth, and I will not have to strike him a second time. But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him, for who can stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? Amen. See the heart of David. He did not take the shortcut. To become a king. During the waiting time, many times we tend to take a shortcut to come out ourselves. Right? But God wants to encourage you. Wait patiently. Wait patiently. During the time of waiting, I am forming. During the time of waiting, I am strengthening. During the time of waiting, believe that I am exalting you step by step. Amen? How many of you believe that? Amen. Even though David had a good chance to kill Saul, next day he can become a king. But he said, I will not put my hand upon the anointed one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why God said, He is my own beloved heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can he behave like this? How can he wait like this? Amen. The, that's why the uh, Bible says in Psalm 41, David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. David said, I will wait for my God because during this time of waiting, he will do some good things in my life. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to take a shortcut. I want my God's hand. Amen. If God is with me, he knows how to lift me up. Amen. If God is with me, he knows when to lift me up. Amen. If God lifts you up, then that promotion, that, that, that blessing will stand forever. Amen. If you read it in second, later on, God gave a promise to David in 2 Samuel 
chapter 7 verse 16 second samuel chapter 7 verse 16 and your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you amen that's a promise because he waited for god's timing he did not take a shortcut that's why god said your kingdom shall be established forever amen the other way if you see the life of saul life of saul samuel asked saul to wait seven days he waited seven days but on the day of seventh day saul gave an offering before samuel come amen then then samuel came samuel told saul you did foolish thing he he was able to wait for seven days but for the last few minutes he couldn't wait once he finished the offering once he finished and gave the sacrifice then samuel appeared right then bible said this is a foolish thing he did because he couldn't wait bible says he saw people are going away from him people are going away from him so he saw the things in the physical way the fleshy way he thought if people all go my kingdom also will go he forgot to think that god only gave the kingdom to him amen if god gives you something no one can take it out from you amen, amen. hallelujah amen saul forgot it that's why he he panicked and he did some foolish thing if you are not ready to wait during the time of waiting you will also do foolish things then you will miss something that's why god wants to encourage you during the time of waiting i am doing some exalting i am doing some exaltation in your life i am lifting you up step by step step by step hallelujah hallelujah the other reason david can behave like this psalm 38 verse 15 psalm 38 verse 15 that the other reason why mm. for a new o lord i hope you will hear o lord my god how can david patiently wait the reason david believe that god will hear and god will answer my prayer amen during the time of waiting you need to trust god my god is hearing my prayers he will answer all my prayers amen then you will wait patiently amen then you will see the blessings of god in your life the finally i want to give a promise and i want to conclude this message isaiah 64 verse 4 Isaiah 64 verse 4 for since the beginning of the world men have not heard nor perceived by the ear nor has I seen any God besides you who acts for the one who waits for him hallelujah God wants to bless you with this promise also if you are waiting for the Lord God is having a greater things in your life amen hallelujah shall we all stand up and would you ask the Lord Lord I am waiting for you Give me that grace to wait patiently. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The presence of God is in this place. You can tell, just speak to the Lord. Lord, you know I am waiting for something. God is encouraging this morning. I am forming some good things in your life. Hallelujah. I am creating something new in your life. I am doing good things in your life. Hallelujah. Never give up never give up do not lose your heart the hand of god is with you the hand of god is with you hallelujah god will give you victory hallelujah rabola shandara rikadara labo shandara labo you are not alone in the wilderness the hand of god is with you he will rescue hallelujah thank you lord he will deliver you from the lion he will deliver you from the bear and also he will give you victory over goliath Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is a promise-keeping God. This morning, the presence of God is in this place. Hallelujah. <coughs> Just surrender your life to the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Lord, give us grace to wait for you patiently, Lord. Lord, we believe that. We believe that. We believe that. Lord, you are a prayer-answering God. During this, this time of waiting, you are hearing all our prayers. You will answer all our prayers, O oh God. Remove every hastiness from our life. 
Oh, remove every panicness from our life, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we believe that you will lift up. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because you promised us, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We will mount up like a eagle. Hallelujah. Nothing can shut our dreams, oh God. Nothing can stop our visions, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are God of Joseph. You are God of David with us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Would you thank Jesus? Hallelujah. His, his presence is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.